I mean, can you beat it? I mean, where do you start? The jacket, the vest, the specs, the thumbs up, that ring, the cigar? He invented the disc jockey, spawned thousands of dad impressionists and made shiny gold tracksuits <laughs> fashionable. Well, almost. Well, today, Sir Jimmy Savile's funeral was held at Leeds Cathedral. Our North of England reporter, Morlan Sanders, joined the hundreds who said a final no then, no then, to the fundraiser, broadcaster and Yorkshire icon. The last episode of Savile's Travels. His body removed from public view at the Queen's Hotel and taken on a sightseeing tour around Sir Jimmy's West Yorkshire. Flags at half-mast outside Leeds General Infirmary, where he'd raised so much for charity. And then past the modest home where he grew up. At the Catholic service, hundreds waited. But the mood was less funereal, more top of the pops too. I was about that then, carting dolls. Now then, now then. Well, he's a pride of whole Leeds, you know, that. he's a wonderful, brilliant man. He did a lot of charity things for all, all communities. We really miss him. He's great. A golden coffin. That's pretty snazzy, isn't it? Shell suits, cigars. Jimmy Savile, my kind of guy. It's number one. It's still top of the pops. Sir Jim was the original DJ, the man who invented putting two record players together. And some of his former colleagues at Radio One made the journey to Leeds. He was an enigma. He was uh, a showman. Uh, unfathomable, uh, great businessman. Uh, I mean, he was uh, an extraordinary character in many, many ways. I, nobody really knew him. I'm not even sure that Jimmy knew himself that well. But um, I mean, without him, the rest of us wouldn't, wouldn't probably wouldn't be here. So, uh, not that he fathered us all. You understand. <laughs> At two this afternoon, Sir Jimmy Savile's gold coffin made its way down Cookridge Street in Leeds. About one month ago, he commented to friends and medical staff that he had absolutely no fear of dying. He said he had done it all, seen it all, got it all, and if I might add, given it all. Sir Jimmy Savile's body will finally be driven to the Yorkshire coast, to his beloved Scarborough his gold coffin buried at a 45 degree angle so he can enjoy everlasting sea views. Eccentric, zany, attention grabbing until the very end. Morland Sanders, Channel 4 News, Leeds. Scarborough's favorite son on his way to his final resting place.